obviously we've heard the news that IFAB are set to introduce blue cards for sin bins. Um, how welcome would their introduction be or other, other things that need fixing the football first? Yeah, that's probably the right thing to say. I think everything what the actual situation shows, we should make it as and keep it as simple as somehow possible for the referees as well. Well, it's a difficult job, we all know that. Uh, often quite emotional when we speak about it, uh, uh, because it's most often after the game. Um, and I think introduction of a new card would just give more um, opportunities to fail as well, because the discussion will be, it was a blue card, should have been a yellow card, now it's 10 minutes off. Should, in the good old times, it would have been a red card or would have been only a yellow, whatever, these kind of things. Just makes it more complicated. I want to test it. I have no problem with testing. But if that's the first step to agreeing or, or, or already being um, sure that it will happen. But I don't know that, to be honest. I have no idea. I tested it the first time about it. Um, and yeah, doesn't sound like a fantastic idea in the first moment. Uh, but actually, I can't remember when the last fantastic idea came from these guys, if they ever had one. I felt, no, I'm 56. Nah, never. Moving on. Um, after the defeat to Arsenal, did it feel like a, a major setback at the time? And if so, what have you had to do this week to lift the place again to ensure, or do your best to ensure you get the, the response you're looking for this week? After all the time in England, I'm still 100% sure that I understand all the world's 100% right. It's a setback. We lost the game, and that it felt like that, definitely. And people told me after that um, we only lost Tottenham. Before that, it was City. I didn't feel for a second like that. It just, it, if you want, it felt like we lost in one game, five games, but not because of the situation in the table, just because we lost the game and we didn't play a particular good game um, and that just shows how it is uh, how it goes that we, a few days before that we played in, in a lot of parts of the game probably the best game of the season a really good game complete performance against Chelsea it was top class performance um, everybody could see the other night how good Chelsea can be if you let them um, and they go to Arsenal and Arsenal um, played a, a good game and we had our parts, but not more. So, and that's obviously something you all, it's always a challenge for a, for a manager. What are you doing? Ignoring or putting the finger properly in or whatever. And it's always somewhere in between. We don't take these things lightly and think, oh, it can happen. At Arsenal, you can lose. We want, we want to perform better than we did. And that's what we, what we try and we want and we have to show reaction. That's actually the only good thing about it, that you can react. Um, and that's what we have to do, definitely, 100%. So many things, especially against the ball, was not even close to our standards. People might say we didn't we didn't have finished uh, shots on target, which is up, uh, no, that's 100% up true. Um, but it all comes with the way we defend, and um, and that's why that was the main point we were talking about. And that's exactly um, what we have to do much better. And um, if you do that, then we will be better, and that's the first step. And is there any good news on the injury front at the moment? Thiago, what's his situation? Dominic, how's he? And how far away is Mo? I take it, by the way, that Endo's available as well. No problem, yeah, Endo's available, that's good. Um, besides that, we have a few problems and have to wait. But it's so all like, but Thiago obviously is not, is not cool. He, um, he, Everything looked absolutely fantastic in training. Um, we show quite a lot of things, I would say, I think, on, on LFC TV, so you can see the training moments and it looks outstanding. So you think you come on, take him, we have the opportunity, let him play a few minutes, blah, blah, blah. And then, um, yeah, it's a muscle, it's a muscle issue. Um, we don't know the extent yet, so we have to wait there a little bit. It's, but it's not cool, of course, and it was very was really not good news for him, for us, for everybody. So, like, just it fell on top of losing the game already and then having that is, is, is not good. Um, Dom is running outside in the moment. Um, in the 
winter rain um, and yeah, it's not ready for tomorrow, of course not. Uh, and then we have to see. It's like it always is with these tent and things. They are pretty quickly. Um, the play is pain free, and then it's all about what we have. It's it's muscle with. It's pretty much the same what he had before. That's obviously really not good that he that he got that again. It didn't feel a great issue, but um, when you see it in the pictures, and you just have to take him out, and um, so it's now we are fighting for days. If you want, is it is it Brighton? Is it the final or is it after the final? I don't I don't know in the moment. Just to clarify on Thiago, by the way, are you expecting him to be available again this season? We didn't, yes, but we didn't really think about that in the moment. We just treat the injury um, and get a full um, assessment done and knowing exactly where it came from. It's not intensity, stuff like this. So it's there are different things. We trust the normal procedure, and it would not be a big story if it wouldn't have been out for that long time. So that's how it is. It's not a, it's not a big, big injury, definitely not, but it's obviously something nobody needed. It's not available for the weekend. Yeah, I was just going to ask how, how is he, how's his mental state? Would you say what sort of things are you and the club doing to try? And I think the mental state of a player is not is not is nothing we should discuss in public. To be honest, everybody, if you have a bit of a a bit of empathy in yourself uh, and would just try to bring yourself in a situation it's just nothing to talk about. It's all logical. The boy gets as long as he needs uh, with his family. I I, uh, I think from next week on he will be. Um, Back in training, but we have to see um, if he if uh, he doesn't feel ready for that, then that's fine as well. There's absolutely no rush from us. The only thing we want to do is to support him as much as we can. But in the moment, he's still with his family and is in the best place. As far as Burnley is concerned, um, I'm sure you saw the, the result last week where they came back from a couple down against Fulham. Um, how much of a, a potential of a game might this be for you? Do you think that they're very slowly starting to adapt to the Premier League? Yeah, I think uh, from the outside world, it's probably a, a, a proper banana skin for a sports person. It's actually not because it's an opponent. We respect a lot. Um, I really think Vinny is doing an incredible job there, to be honest. He's, he learned so early in his managing career, so many very important things for his for the career after it. Having all the highs you can have with running through the championship last year, like nobody else before, and then getting knock after knock by playing good football, by sticking to their principles. I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't respect it. I couldn't admire it more, to be honest. So you see them still playing. Um, now Fofana scored two goals, came on the game before. I think he was involved in the goal um, as well. Uh, so they have now somebody looks like that uh, who can who can score goals um, on top of all the other boys obviously enough goals the results are strange they lose not high they lose always if they lose it's 2-1 3-2 whatever these kind of things so you see there in the game they will play football that they, they, they do that and we have to be absolutely spot on but for us how i've heard we will have um, the next um, increase of people in the stadium and which is really nice um, I'm not sure we, how, when it will be that we, that the stadium is completely. We can fill it completely, but then we can obviously introduce and and welcome uh, more people, which will be great. There will be all Liverpool fans, and um, um, I would say we have nothing else to do on Sunday. So let's create a special atmosphere. Let's go for them. The team wants to show a reaction. Um, if the people want to help us with that, that would be really helpful. And but the first thing we should forget is where Burnley is in the in the in the, in the table, because only that makes creates potential banana skin. If you just see it as a game, the, the most important game, um, which it is obviously, because there's no other, um, then I think we should be ready for it. But still, it's football. And um, yeah, we have a lot of work to do. And we have um, Ibu not available, um, a little bit fighting with a little bit of, of, of flu thing in the squad. So we have to see who is in the end available. So that's all not cool. Um, but in the end, we will have 11 players and we will go for it. Jürgen, uh, how important might it be for you to have Otaru Endo back? Very. Because uh, obviously, fantastically important for him to get international recognition, but kind of came at the wrong time because he'd just begun to, to settle down and was, was really playing well for you. 
Yeah, from that point of view, might might be we will see that might have been the wrong point. But besides that, we, we we came through that period without him pretty well. That that was pretty impressive. And and Bataru was before he left was um, really um, super influential on the pitch. Obviously, he gave us the opportunity um, in a lot of moments to really involve, introduce a lot of offensive players around that uh, because his protection was just exceptional. But play the playing side of the game as well. It's his birthday today. Turns. 31. Um, so, looks good since he's back. Um, so, and it's very important. So, with, how I said, with all the, the problems we have um, in a moment uh, with players, it's yeah, it's super important because obviously Mo is not back as well. Um, and that means we really need every player. I'm not sure, was it two or three weeks ago when we sat here and we were talking about the, 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 the luxury problem of lining up players if anybody asks me that question again i kick him out of the room honestly because it's always it, we talk once about what are you doing with that and a week later we have the complete different situation that's exactly what we have now at the knock off from having Mutaro endo back as well it is that it would give you the opportunity to to move alexis McAllister into a more advanced role that we've been more used to seeing him and i know you've been massively impressed with him playing as a six but he can add something else further up the pitch as well, can't he? Yes, he can. But he did extremely well on the six, so we'll see how we sort that. But yeah, of course, that's good. As I said, we need them all. And um, of course, Maka and, and Bataru can play together as well. There's no doubt about that. Um, they all can play together. It's not a problem. Um, we just have to make sure that we bring, try as much as we can to bring them in the right moment together. So let's see. Thank you. Welcome. Sorry, what? The goal against Leicester for Man City. Oh. Carl. <laughs> and laughing in the same moment. That's cool. Um, yes, I forgave him that for a long time. So, I, there are plenty of players I should hate. Arjen Robben is one of them, but I don't. Same as with Winston Company. I'm a, uh, I believe. There were other situations in that season where I thought they were more influential than that Winston Company scores that goal. Um, and when I think about the situation, I, I, I still think Madison should have blocked the shot. But so Vincent just tried to get rid of the ball and it ended up in a goal. But um, no, yeah, absolute. Not that it's not important, but yes, I forgave him long ago. Right direction. Um, we hope, but we don't know. We hope that he can be part of be, 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 be part of parts of training next week. So, but we have to see. He's going through all the all paces now, um, and um, yeah. But look, it's positive. It's either next week or the week after. Welcome. If you ask him, it's next week. Break up next door. Thank you so very, very much for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like. Uh, the season is now well underway. If you need extra Red Men content, be it podcasts, videos, documentaries, interviews, and general shows, fill your boots on redmenplus.com today.